Hello, Jack. This is Captain Jack, and look, here comes Hera, and that's Dr. Mew. Dr. Mew never has a problem coming for his food, but this is a kitty who would not let me, normally does not let me touch him, and rarely even comes out from behind the couch. Ooh, come on, Doc, Jack. Good boy. There we go. See? That's not too bad. And you'll really love your wet friskies. We do this every night. Every night. He's a good boy. He and his sister tend to play rather loudly. Oh, don't you be that way. He's, hey, that's your sister's. Captain Jack, that was not nice. That's your sister's. You had yours. Here you go, Hera. No, Jack. Oh, don't you do that. It's your sister's. You're a little, you're greedy. You're greedy. And here is Hera. She's a little bit more approachable than her brother. She lets me pet. Ooh, don't worry. They're both a bit skittish. But they will cut, let me pet them for friskies, even though if I try to any other time, they make a run for it. But they are both really interesting cats. She is a feisty little thing. Yes, she is. She is extremely feisty. Growls and yowls and pretty much beats her brother's tail all over the apartment. But as you can see, side by side with Dr. Mew, and not a growl to be heard. So, but pretty much, and there's Captain Jack again. Pretty much these two just need some time. They would do well with a, a person who is an experienced cat owner who can be gentle and quiet and let them have their time and space. And as you can see, they absolutely love wet cat food. So every day, well, every night after I get home from work, they each get a third of a can and they have to come to me and get petted. So, Captain Jack just inhaled his. He particularly loves tuna. He will go to great lengths for tuna. Yes, I'm going to give myself a bath now. I love his face. I'm being dignified. Yes, I am being quite dignified and there is no point in pointing that thing at me. But yes, she is gorgeous. She's a little princess. Whoever adopts her is going to have a great cat. I love her coloring. She, and she has the most wonderful eyes which you can't he really see at this moment. But yes, uh, it almost, if somebody even wanted to take these two together, they get along re run really well. Hey, here. See, there's her face. Oh, where do you think you're going? Hey, no, doc, 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 doctor, that's Tara's. You're a pig. You're fat enough as it is. For a time kitty, you are really, really a bit chunky, buddy, especially in the butt. But yes. Oh, stop that. See, just a bit skittish, but they're still, they're still yummies. You're gonna come for them, beautiful? Yes, that's okay. Jack, if you want, see, our, Jack's coming back. And as you can see, this is my knee. So they're approaching me quite willingly. And this is a lot of progress considering, oh, when I got them two weeks ago, the neither of them, well, I got him two weeks ago and I got her last weekend. And I, he, he would not come out from under the bed for days and hiss at me any time I approached. But, and he never lets me pet him except for now. But, he is going, he is a gorgeous boy. They renamed him, he's on the, the boards as Calvin. But I've been taking to calling him Captain Jack Harkness because I am a Dr. Hugh fan. As you can tell from Dr. My, my own cat, who used to be called Mac, is now Dr. Mew. And Captain Jack Harkness, played by John Barrowman, is a sexy loving machine, and all the girls drool over him. And he has quite a lot of personality and kicks butt. So I figured, you know what? I'll show him Torchwood, Torchwood episodes. And he has a great role model because we want him to be all those loving machines and get himself a fantastic forever home. I'm trying, you know. You could try hamming it up for the camera a little bit. Oh, fine. See, yes, he is very skittish. He is definitely more skittish than his sister. But um, he is still going to be a great cat. They just need somebody with experience who can just give them time. 
He's eaten some tweet treats out of my hand before, but he loves his wet cat food. So, yes. To this cat's ha heart, the way to this cat's heart is through his stomach. But yes, yes, it is. Jack, don't even deny it. So, yes, here is Captain Jack Harkness, and Hera is off somewhere, but he's right here. My hand is there. Here is it. And for him to come this close to me, willingly, that's quite a lot of a progress in just about two weeks. So, he has every possibility of making an absolutely wonderful, wonderful pet for somebody. He's playful. He likes to play with toys. I hear him and his sister when I'm not in the room, you know, climbing all over the place. She literally is an incredible climber. She will climb the side of a wardrobe that's almost to the ceiling like it was a tree trunk and make it without leaping. And, you know, they play a lot. And he's a little explorer. He is just this great cat. So I could, maybe I should have named him, nicknamed him James Bond. But, uh, because <laughs> of the tuxedo. And I have a cold at the moment, which is why I'm a bit hoarse. But yes, this is Captain Jack, a.k.a. Calvin. And he's done for the day, night. And he is going to make somebody an absolutely fantastic cat someday. So, if you are an experienced cat owner, Especially with any experience with ferals. That's behind the couch. That's his lair with his sister. If you have any experience with ferals and are interested in him or Hera, please consider um, paying us a visit. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> and taking a look and meeting him because you know what? He's really a little gem, as is Hera, and they deserve great homes. So, signing off.